everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back once again with the HP Stream 7, and you'll notice now we are driving a full 1920 by 1080 display, and we're doing that thanks to some viewer suggestions. So a lot of people suggested I pick up this device from Pluggable here. This is an HDMI to USB adapter, and what it does is it relies upon uh, the computer, in this case the Stream 7, uh, to basically render the video and then uh, compress that data, push it out over USB to the device, which then uh, decodes that data and re-renders the screen. So it doesn't look too bad. In fact, the video speed, at least on 2D stuff, is uh, pretty quick. I'm going to load up Half-Life 2 in a minute so you can see you can actually even game on it, although I don't think that's a desirable thing to do, uh, just given all the extra hoops we're jumping through here. Uh, but it does work, and it can you know, go th to things like YouTube and everything else. There is some compression going on because uh, it is compressing that video signal before it fires it off to the device itself. So you're going to, uh, you know, again, not get the best quality image you'll get out of this because you know if you had a direct HDMI connection you would probably do better than uh, what you're doing here but it does work and I'm pretty impressed by the fact that it does uh, although there's really a limit to practicality because what you need to do to get this to work is of course get the pluggable adapter which by the way costs forty dollars this costs ninety nine dollars so uh, you got to get the adapter you need a USB hub because you're gonna need to plug a keyboard and mouse in uh, if you want to disable the internal display and kind of use it as a uh, desktop device. So you're going to need the hub here to do all that. So you're going to add a lot of wires, and we're connecting via OTG. And you will remember from our last video uh, that when we did the OTG hookup, um, you cannot power the device even if you have one of these OTG Y cables because it just doesn't support uh, the power and the OTG going at the same time. So as the display is being driven here, you will be off your battery. So uh, you're not going to be able to plug this in and work a whole day with it because you'll be killing the battery as uh, time goes on with all of this stuff hooked up to it. So not too practical. But let's take a look though and see how Half-Life 2 runs on it. I should add too that uh, the pluggable device does carry audio data to your HDMI target device as well. So I was able to play uh, the system audio through my uh, stereo receiver upstairs and through the TVs that I've been playing with too. So it does carry video and audio. It doesn't do any of the AC3 pass through, at least I couldn't get that to work. Uh, so it's not going to be a home theater choice, but quite honestly, the video quality here isn't, isn't the best. So it's more of a, you know, text and graphics kind of, uh, kind of device. So let's take a look though at Half-Life 2. Now surprisingly, it is possible to actually play some games on here, and the frame rate isn't bad. This is Half-Life 2, so again, just like the uh, Stream 7 in its native mode, this is not something that you're going to want to you know, really rely on playing modern games, but the fact that we're doing this over USB to HDMI is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Even though this is an older game, I was surprised it even worked at all, so uh, that works pretty nicely. I could not get Minecraft to boot up on it, though. So I may have to tweak it a little bit more, but I think Minecraft is doing some different things in how it renders video because it's written in Java versus uh, something like Half-Life, which is more native to uh, the Windows operating system. So, I, you know, I think, you know, it works, but this is not practical. I mean, you've got to get all this stuff hooked up uh, in order to get it to work. And then the whole time you're doing this, uh, your battery is getting drained uh, as you go because there's no way to plug in power directly to it. So I think if you're, you know, looking at, you know, a tablet that costs $100 and you want uh, to be able to drive a display and a keyboard at the same time and power the device, I think that uh, display, that unit from Best Buy that we looked at uh, might be the better choice. Costs the same, performs the same, a little bit larger screen, but you also have the ability to plug it in, use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and then connect to its HDMI connector, which will get you better quality video and better performance. So that's the HP Stream 7 uh, with all this stuff hooked up to it to drive a 1920 by 1080 display. Uh, so it is possible, but not practical. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.